that you're favored by the Most High God. Yes. Amen. Amen. But I'm also, I'm his favorite. I don't know. I'm his favorite. Y'all know you got different children. You got that one. Sometimes you got the favorite. I'm just going to let y'all know here today. I'm, I'm just going to let y'all know. Y'all know. I'm not You're the favorite. favorite. We know. I'm his favorite. Amen. I'm his favorite. I beg to differ. I'm his favorite. Amen. So just in case y'all didn't know. All right. All right. All right. I, setting the record straight on today. So when you leave here, you can tell your friends and neighbors, anybody else that you come across, that co-pastor Fanny Thomas is God's favorite. I'm his favorite. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. Without a shadow of a doubt. And see, when you, when, when you know that you know that you know right, 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 that right, God right. favors you, you can say stuff. Amen. Amen. You know, you can say that. And, and when you know that you're walking in the favor of the Lord, amen, yeah. and if you know that you got the anointing of God on your life, that's because that's that's I'm favored and that's the anointing. <laughs> amen, amen. And, and when you're walking in the anointing that God has called you to do, there, there is nothing, there is no one, there is no how that anything can come up against you that will defeat you. Amen? Amen. Amen. You shall not <laughs> be defeated. The devil is a liar. And the devil is a liar. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Amen. I thank God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. In the name God, of I Jesus. just thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For another opportunity, God, to stand in the presence of your people, O oh God. Father, I ask you right now in the name of Jesus, O oh God, let your presence manifest continuously in this place, oh God. Yes. Father, open your people's hearts and their minds, oh God, to receive what thus say the Lord, oh God. Father, we thank you, oh God, for what you're about to do in their lives, oh God. Father, I ask you to move mightily in their lives, oh God. Father, let them have nothing missing, hallelujah, or nothing broken in their lives, oh God. Move right now in their lives, oh God, hallelujah. Glory to your name, oh Jesus. God, where they fall short, oh God, you give the increase, oh God. Father, where God, I thank you for what you're about to do yeah. in this place on today, oh God. Yeah. Hallelujah. God, just move right now in the name of Jesus. God, I ask so that I can decrease, oh God, so that you can increase in me in the name of Jesus. God, stir up the gifts that's within me right now in the name of Jesus. Word my lips in the name of Jesus. You know, oh God, what your people have need of on today, oh God. Yeah. Father, and I bind at the hands of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that will try to come and steal this word from your people, oh God. Father, I bind him up right now in the name of Jesus. Because God, you said in your word, whatever we bind here, oh Lord, it's already bound in heaven, oh God. Father, we thank you, God, for what you're doing. Yeah. Even thank now. you. Thank you. Oh, bless your name, Jesus. Yeah. Come on and give God another hand clap of praise in this place. Yeah. Oh, bless your name. Give him another hand clap of praise in this place. Hallelujah. The power of choice. Yes. Go with me to Joshua. Mm -hmm. Just one scripture. Praise Jesus. I don't know where I'm going, but wherever God go, I, I, I tell y'all, y'all, catch me on. Me and my house. Hallelujah. Because yeah. as I was doing this message, I was telling my husband, I said, I, 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 I don't know where God is going with this. But I got some notes. Amen. 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 Use it all. Ah, bless your name, but I, I do have some notes, but wherever God goes, I feel like I'm so far away from it. Uh, that's where I'm going, so y'all have to, y'all that's here, you have to excuse me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big crappy. Amen. Amen. Oh, bless Take your time. Jesus. Take your time. Joshua 24 and 15. Amen. And the word of God says, And if it seem evil yeah, 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 yeah. unto you to serve the Lord. Mm. Mm. Let me read it one more time. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. if it seems evil, that if lets me know that you got some kind of doubt right there. You, 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 you're indecisive. 
and if it seems evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day yes. whom you will serve. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whether the God, the little g, the yes. gods of which your fathers served yes. that were on the other side of the flood, yes. of the gods of the yes. Amorites, mm -hmm. and whose land he dwell, for me and my house. Everybody yes, know that yes, one. Yes, Let's go. Yes, Everybody yes, knows yes, that one. Yes. But as for me and my house, mm -hmm. we will serve, serve the Lord. The Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. The title again of the message is The Power of Choices. Choices is defined as an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities. It's the opportunity of power, the opportunity or power to make a decision. Bless God. And we can see throughout the Bible where people had to make some type of choice or some type of decision as to whether they're going to serve the God of their fathers or, or the Amorite. All God wants you to do is make a choice. Because the word says, if you, he don't want you to be lukewarm. Mm -hmm. If you're lukewarm, you got to be hot or you're going to be cold. Yep. Yep. Hot or cold. So all he wants you to do is make a choice mm -hmm. on today. Choice. From the beginning, Adam and Eve had to make a choice. Because you know that he told them not to eat of the fruit of the tree. And he left the choice to unto them. them. You know, that's one thing about our father. He's a gentleman and he won't force us to do anything because he wants what you're going to do, whatever you're going to do, whatever decision that you're going to make, he wants you to do it because you love him. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. right. He can make us bow down before him, but he's a gentleman. He wants you to do it out of love. Oh, yeah. 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 He don't want you to do it because of what he's done for you, but you should want to do it because of what he's done. Because it was not for God that was on your side. Where would you be? I think about that often. And that, that's, that's why I get so stirred up and I, I'm always crying and I, and I, I, I think about thinking about where could I have been if I had not made the choice to follow him? Where would I be? You need to think about that thing. Where would you be if you had not made the choice to follow him? I think I would have been dead somewhere. Praise Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Pray. I, I, honestly, but God, honestly. God. Either I've been dead somewhere or I've been locked up somewhere because I, I, I know me. And I, I think God chose to, to change me and to rearrange me and put me on the potter's wheel and to mold me and shape me into his fashion. Mm -hmm. Not the way that I want to be, but the way that he wants me to be. And he, he took me and he shaped me and molded me into his way. And then he showed me his way for me. And then he showed me, me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and told me to choose. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. oh, bless the yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna put He that told out me to yeah. choose yeah. I'm gonna put that out there. who right there with that. Yeah. I mm -hmm. want to be. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, bless his name. It's up to you to choose who you want to be yeah. on today. Ah, oh. oh, glory to the on today. It says this day. This day. Choose whom you're going to serve. Yeah. That's right. Oh, bless his name. Just as I had to make a choice, Adam and Eve had to make a choice, mm -hmm. Joseph also had to make, make a choice. choice. Yeah. When they said this woman coming to me telling me I'm pregnant and, it, and I, this of the Holy Ghost. Really? <laughs> he had to make a choice. Big choice. Whether to put her away yeah. or continue to marry her. That's right, that's right. He had to make a choice. Yes, Jonah. 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 Jonah had to make a choice. Y'all yeah. <laughs> know what choice Jonah made. Joyce, Jonah was so <laughs> distraught and he just didn't want the people of Nineveh to be forgiven. So I'm going to get on the boat. <laughs> I'm leaving town. God <laughs> oh, bless your name, Jesus. Come on. Some of y'all know y'all have been there and God that gave you a word to tell somebody and instead of you telling them you leave the church building, I ain't telling them. Oh, come on. Come on with that. 
Come on. You ain't gonna tell them because you don't like them. It ain't got nothing to do with, with you, you and how you feel like what right. you like. That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's what happened to Jonah. And that's what happened to some of us when we get like that. We end up in our own belly of the well. Because we chose to. Oh, bless his name. And then there was Judas. Y'all know Judas. Y'all know Judas. Sit there and eat my food and, yeah. and then yeah. go and betray me. Yeah. What kind of mess is that? <laughs> Gonna sit there and break bread with me. You know, but God is so gracious yeah. and he's so loving and yeah. he's so so merciful. Yeah. He looked over there to him and said, son, whatever you do, <laughs> do it. I can just imagine. Whatever you do, do it quickly. Yes, he did. So yeah. he had a choice right there. Yes, he, he did. Jesus gave him a way out. Yeah, he did. Wow. He had a way out. But he chose, but he chose. Mm. to go on and do it. The T, there's a, a clip on there. Let me break it down to y'all into modern day vernacular. All right, all right. Vernacular. <laughs> and you guys should be able to understand this. Amen. But I'm a sci-fi. Mm. <laughs> vernacular. Choices. All right. Oh, yes. Do you want to know what it is? The matrix is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now in this very room. You can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. Ties. It is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth. Oh! What truth? That you are a slave, Neo. Like everyone else, you were born into bondage. Born into a prison that you cannot smell or taste or touch. A prison for your mind. Neo. <laughs> Newbie. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Juice. Remember, Juice. all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. Whatever you need, 
will be added unto you. So choose wisely. So are you going to choose God? Or are you going to choose the blue pill and go on back into the rabbit hole and wake up like nothing happened? Or are you going to choose the red pill and have your mind's eye open to the wonders and the splendor and the marvelous things that God can and has done for you? Hallelujah. Because I, I know God has done some marvelous things for us. Yeah, yeah. But yet we are so, so ridiculously blessed mm. that we take these things for granted. Yeah, yeah. Not knowing that if God was not a merciful God, all these things that he talk about in all these things mm -hmm. would not be available for us. Mm -hmm. So we are just ridiculously blessed by the Lord. And we, we, we don't, sometimes we don't even have a clue. Nope. Don't have a clue. And you see in each of these examples that I've shown in, in, in the matrix, each of these people had a choice to make. And each one of their choices had some kind of consequence. Whether good, bad, or indifferent. I don't care what you decide to do, there is a consequence that you are going to have to make for your decision or your indecisiveness. Not making a decision is still making a decision. Making a decision. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That's good. I'm on now. Yes, ma'am. Let me tell you a story. I wanted to, y'all hear me, I say I. I, me. God ain't told me to do nothing. My husband first thing asked me, did God tell you that? But, but this is what I, no, but did, did God, did, no, he didn't. But this is what I wanted to do. Because I wanted to, to, to get some extra money so I could do stuff for the kingdom and do stuff for the church. And, you know, I, I, I just wanted to, to bless the Lord because he's blessed me. That's, that's all I wanted to do. And I thought I was doing, I thought I was doing something grandiose. <laughs> I'm going to do something for the Lord and you know, I'm going to go and get me a job. I was working at home. I was going to be working at home. So it was to me in my mind's eye, I wasn't working. I was at home. But I, 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 wanted, I made the decision that I wanted to get this at home job and you know I, I, I went to work for two a day? No, I went to work one day. <laughs> <laughs> one day. I went to work one day and I was so distraught and I was so stressed out. I'm like, God, what the heck did I get myself? That's right. one thing about God. God will let you go on and do what you want to do. Uh -huh. How you want to do it, when you want to do it. And, and, and I'm like, God, why you let me go through all this here? Because <laughs> you wanted to do it. You know, you could have stopped me way back when when I was still in the training mode. But you allowed he allowed me to go through the training and it wasn't no two days. This was about four, five weeks of training. Mm. Mm. Amen. So, you know, I went on my first day of work and I'm stressed out. And, you know, second day of work, I, I went and I'm still stressed out. And I, I saw Kuyan in the, in the BX and I had a doctor's appointment and we was talking and I was telling her, I said, girl, you know, I did not done, you know, ex wife and did all that. And before I got in my car, good, the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord, woof, he arrested me right where I was. Arrested. He arrested me. Yes, yes, Lord, yes. Because I was sort of a fugitive. I was, because I was doing what I wanted to do. I, I was doing That's what right. I wanted to That's do. That's right, He, he arrested me. Yeah. And I started crying. I'm like, God, okay, I ain't going to do it no more. Me. Right. This is not exaggeration. <laughs> I could not drive home. I had to sit in the BX parking lot yeah. until I composed myself. <laughs> I got a whipping. That's whip. right. Whooped you. Because of the choice. That was my consequence. Yeah. That that for, for being disobedient. When he had already and that was the third job he had made me quit. You think by now I would have learned, right? <laughs> that was the third job. <laughs> 
I, I should have learned by now that that's not where he wanted me to be. So I had to rearrange my thoughts. I got home. I couldn't get home fast enough. I, I thank the Lord I didn't get a ticket. <laughs> <laughs> got home, got on, the, on my computer, typed up my little, I quit right now. <laughs> Immediately. I am not going to do this job any longer. This is not where God desires for me to be. I hope you understand my spiritual Girl, I got deep on that quit. Hallelujah. <laughs> I got deep on that quit. <laughs> Oh. Yes. But the peace I got yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. after being obedient and getting back in position where God wants you to be. When you make the right decisions, hallelujah. hallelujah. When you choose wisely. And I always say, I don't care if it comes down to me and my husband and God, you know who I'm going to choose. I'm choosing God all day long. Amen. All day long. Because it has nothing to do with me. It's all about him. So choose. Choose. Wisely. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And if you notice in the scripture. How it said. Choose ye this day. Mm -hmm. You have to choose. And not delay and make the right choices. See, there's so many of us, they scrabble in the fence. But I, I, I came across a new word. They are between a night. Between a night. Between a night. Between a night huh? You know, the Paris, the Jebusites. Jebusites, yeah. Jebusites, and, yeah. and, and, and all them other sites. Yeah. Hittites, and all them other types. <laughs> and can't get rights. Yeah, yeah love him too. <laughs> we got some between the nights. Between the nights. All right. Between the nights, because you want to be here one day, and you want to be here, and you stand between two opinions. How long? How long? How long are you going to stand between? Two opinions. Elijah asked the people of Israel the same question. How long are you going to stand between two opinions if God be God, follow mm -hmm. him? All right. If God be God, follow him. Paul asked them, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above. Jose Hosea prophesied one day to the Ephraims, amen, and he said, what have I to do, one, this is what they told Hosea after he had prophesied to him and told him everything what God has done and what he's going to do, they came back and said, now, after I have, what I, what have I to do anymore with idols? I have heard him and observed him. They didn't want to have nothing else to do with idols because they seen what God had done. All right. So people of God, and I'm going to take my seat, God says, choose ye this day All right. whom you're going to serve. You know everything that God has done for you. Yeah. Just as Joshua Reveal and exalt the people of Israel of everything that God had done for them. How, they had, how he had brought them out of Egypt into the promised land. He explained to them everything God had done for them. And sometimes we have to be wise in the way that we draw people in. Because the scripture says you're, you're wise the way you win. He who wins souls is wise. It's not that you're winning souls, but it's how you go about getting the soul. So what Joshua did, he presented to them an alternative decision. Mm -hmm. So here's something, instead of going with these other gods that can't do anything for you, I don't care if it's the TV God, the Facebook God, the Twitter God, the shopping God. Oh, no. 
Praise Jesus, not uh -oh. the shoe <laughs> God. Not the first <laughs> shoe God. Jerry God. I still give it all up. Bless God. Amen. Whatever God it is, here's an alternative measure that you can take. Yes. So choose ye this day. Yes. But as for me, yes. sometimes you got to put yourself on the line first yes. before you try to bring somebody else in. As for me, mm -hmm. I'm going to serve the Lord. Yes. Now that I've gotten it right, because sometimes we, we all tore up from the neck up to the floor up and however else they said, and we're trying to go and lead somebody else someplace and we don't, we, we, we don't have to gather ourselves. So, but Joshua said, ask for me. Mm -hmm. Now my, my family, he didn't say now my family can come if, if they want to. Later he said, ask for me and my house. Yes. That means my whole entire family. He's making decisions for his whole entire family. And he could do that because the type of man of God he was. And when you got that type of man of God that's living in your house, that's living and breathing and drinking Jesus. Hallelujah. It won't be hard to follow him. And you know, the same thing for us. If we let our light so shine, before man so that they can see his good works in us it won't be hard for other people to, to follow us because if, if, if our audio as we always see here, say here in CRCM if our audio is not matching your video there's something wrong right. Amen. pastor you got some type of fuzzy pitching you need to call the maker you need to call back the manufacturer and, and get you a trouble ticket. A trouble ticket. Uh -huh. Yes. You need to get you a trouble ticket. Because there's something on the line that's not quite right. There's somewhere down the line you have chosen unwisely. So I'm going to leave. So choose wisely on today. Will you choose God and let God be God in your life? Or will you choose those things of the world? Because there's one thing about the world that I have experienced. Praise Jesus. The world may, may like you for a moment. For a moment. But when they finish with you, they're going to spit you up and throw you out. Right. 